Hey guys, Tom here. We bought a new Yamaha TW200 motorcycle. We bought a Bike Master uh, rack that goes in the two inch trailer hitch receiver. So what I'm working on today is some tie downs. I want to make a threaded rod that goes from the foot peg down to the bracket that they have with the holes in it down here. So what I need to do is put a bend in the end of this rod so it'll come through the hole and then I'm going to cut this to the right length so I can uh, put a washer and a bolt on top of the foot peg and strap it down that way. I'll probably still put some tie downs on the handlebars but this will give me a little added measure of protection. So let's go in the shop and see if we can bend this and get it to cut to the right length. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grind off a few inches of threads here just to smooth it down so when I make my hook it's not always catching on these threads. Okay, I've got the threads ground down as much as they want to, so now we're going to heat it up and put a hook into it. Let's see if that's warm enough to bend it all. Like butter. Okay, I quenched that a little bit. Let's see if it fits in a hole. Now I'm going to put this into my hole and I'm going to rest this against my foot rest. What I want to do is put a washer on here and I'm going to put two nuts so they can act as a lock nut against each other. So that's where I want to cut my, my rod off here. So let's cut it about there. And I'm going on the high side of my mark. Back in the shop. Okay, there's my mark. Cut it off. I'm going to leave an extra thread or two past my mark just for good measure. Okay, so I cleaned up my threads a little bit after cutting it off. Now I'm going to put my hook into the bottom hole, lift my foot peg up, slide that into the hole of the foot peg. Put my washer on, and like I said before, I'm going to put two nuts on here to make a locking system. I'll tighten them against each other. So I've tightened down my rod about an inch or two to put a little uh, squat on the suspension. So that looks good. It's firm. Let's go around and look at the other side. The other side looks good. It's a little different length because the brackets are a little different, but, but there you have it. Here's my finished product with the tie-down system for my TW. I've put a short strap around each wheel down to the carrier. And I've also got a uh, power tie soft strap up to the fork and then down to the carrier. You could go up to the handlebars you get a little better angle but the buckle wants to hit the gas tank and also there's a lot of uh, cabling and wiring up here where you end up pulling on your wires and cables and I didn't want to do that either. So that's the system. This is all set to go cross country. This should give us a secure peace of mind that this little bike's not going anywhere. Thanks for watching.